Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. We just cleared the ballroom and now we got a room behind the ballroom to go into. And this is a plot relevant room, so let's get right into it. Well, it kind of is plot relevant. You'll see in a second here. So if we look in this mirror, there's a button behind us, but first we have to clear the ghost, I'm guessing. I did a bad job with that, but hey, it's all good. We'll get him next time. This one is kind of giving me a bit of a struggle, but we got it. Can I hit the button now? No. So there's a red guy. It looks like the white guy that tried hugging me. So yeah, I don't know if he does anything different or if he tries to hug me too. Fuck. So I do the strategy where I only hit one of them. Fuck. There we go. Hopefully I can get this guy before the red one shows back up. I mean, it kind of worked. For what time is considered, I think it did work. But now we can get that button. And the wall opens up. That's crazy. It's almost like the mini-map already showed us that this room was much bigger. And we're going to get some plot holes here in just a second. So first got to open up this thing that says danger. It's like a boo behind a prison cell. And there's another button. Ooh. So there's a cage in the ground. And there's ghosts in there. Who dares disturb our sleep? Ooh. Oh, it's Luigi. Look, guys. Luigi's finally here. So they admit here that they captured Mario, but why are they already captured in a cage? That doesn't make any sense. We released them, but they were already free. Now Egad's gonna be like, yo, did you just release the fucking booze? I told you not to open that! What the fuck, man? Oh, thanks for flushing them out. So, wait, is he saying that was good? Is he telling me to go back to the lab? Man. So all the boos have fun nicknames, we'll see them soon. I'm gonna be catching a bunch of boos in this episode, actually. But in order to get to the final area of the game, unless you use that glitch I mentioned last episode, you do have to catch 40 of the 50 boos. But we're gonna get all 50 just because there's 50. And this game is pretty short. And you guys gonna give us a little radar. Basically, if we're in a room that has a boo in it, it will flash yellow. And if we're right next to furniture that has a boo in it, it will flash red. So we're gonna skip that cutscene because it's the same cutscene as it was before. Toad will say the exact same thing he always has been saying on that ground there. So let's go get some booze! So yeah, you can see the blinking light on the Game Boy. It will flash red eventually. Oh. There's a bulge on that table. Do I have to do something with the bulge first? I don't know. Oh, there's a bomb! I am bamboo, if you please. But yeah, you can just suck the booze. You don't have to flash them with your light at all. Because as you can see, the room is already lit up. And then you get will ask you to save every time you catch a boo. Which is kind of annoying, but... Yeah, he's just explaining it a bit more. But we got time this episode, let's talk about my life. Because I haven't recorded since... I mean, if you're not including the failed attempt, which I keep bringing up. I haven't recorded since uh, the middle of July. Oh, wait, was that actually him? The light wasn't even on. But yeah, school's been happening. Uh, I'm on my junior year. I'm doing five classes, and I'm surprised they're not as bad as I was expecting going in. But my first class is uh, Monday and Wednesday morning class, and it's kind of bullshit because the teacher, I mean it's easy but it's bullshit at the same time, because the teacher is giving these lectures that are really poor because he doesn't, like he explains stuff but his he doesn't give like really good notes, so if you zone out for two minutes you will like completely miss something that might be important and then the tests that he gives are only 15 points 
and the whole class is 100 points, so if you fuck up on the quiz, like, yeah, I mean, the, the quizzes are still, like, only 30% of the class, or maybe 45, I really don't remember how it goes, but it's so big, and then you have no way to prepare for his test, because he gives you all these notes, but you have no idea which ones are actually gonna be worth your while. So, yeah, that's just a thing. And then, also, like, on Wednesdays, I have, uh, what's my other class? It's, like, the exact same class, except not an elective. Because <laughs> the one I just mentioned was an elective. Um, yeah, where's this fucking boo? Do I have to, like, do something with the lamp? Get some nice money here. No, my second class is the exact same thing, except that... Do I see something with the fire? I really don't know. Why is the light going off? Oh, he did show up, wow. That was the exact same class, except even less homework and no quizzes. So, it's just a lot of bullshit. I mean, <laughs> I mean anti-bullshit. Like, that one's totally, like, fine. Except that the class is three hours long, and the teacher just won't stop talking sometimes. Like, it's like, how can you hold a three-hour conversation, but no one's talking back to her? She's just lecturing on and on this whole time. It's like... You gotta chill. Give us something to do in the class. I can't sit here for three hours. Well, I don't know I get hit by that. And then my third class on Wednesdays is like a law-related class, or like media law. I haven't like exactly found the connection it has to mass communications and stuff, but because like we're just talking about law, it's it's nothing really but me. I guess it's like. Like, how to use, like, photos and videos and shit, like, for fair use purposes. But it's not, like, wholly a... I don't know. Like, wholly a class about mass communications and all that. If, if anything I'm saying it makes sense. And I have, a, like, a Photoshop and InDesign-related class. I, I don't know if you've used InDesign, but it's just, like... But what we're using it for is... Uh, we've made a brochure, ads, and a... We're working on a newsletter right now. And the teacher's kind of an asshole, but at the same time, he's like just kind of like forcefully giving us the push we need to succeed. Because whenever we... Oh, that was him? Shit. <laughs> Alright. I got a feeling the red lights are just for the decoys. Oh my god, get him. Get him! Fuck. No, because like, every time we finish an assignment, then like we all put our assignments on the floor, and then we'll critique three of them out of ten. And he's like, okay, why did you pick this? And then he'll just start asking like 20 questions on life to like whoever made that assignment. So it's like, jeez, I don't want to talk at all because he'll just go in on my life. And then the class is kind of bullshit just because he'll tell you if whatever you're doing is working or not like there's a like there's a correct method to making art but then at the same time he'll tell you when it's like if it is working or if it's not working and it'll be so unfulfilling because you feel like there is no definitive way to like do art but he says there is but i don't fucking know man and then like that class is okay but right now i'm I'm doing okay at it. I think the teacher likes me, but like with each assignment, I'm just getting worse because I don't have exactly like any ideas in my mind of what to do for these assignments. It's just like I just kind of get the idea and then I build from it on there. And that class is two hours every time we show up, which sucks because I mean, yeah, you get a lot of work time, but sometimes I'll just be sitting for half an hour because I just ran out of ideas. Oh, fuck. So yeah, that's just a thing. And then my last class is we're making a documentary. We're watching documentaries. And my documentary is mostly just like my group partner's ideas. So we're going to go into the tunnels of our college and uh, work from there. But we have to make a pitch on what our documentary is going to be about. 
and really I have no idea what our plan is going to be for that. Even though it's due, it's probably already been turned in by this point. But yeah, that's just how my life's been going for school. I'm not even reading these booze names. I'm telling my story. I, I wasn't really talking a whole lot for my stories in the, in the first session. I got all the ghosts this time. On the last try, I missed one of the ghosts because it went to a room that I couldn't unlock until quite a bit later. But yeah, that's all the ghosts I can get right now, and um, there's still time for more stuff. I'm actually making great time this time compared to the failed attempt. That is not a door, Ryan. That is not a door either. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Uh, surprised it saved the explosion when I left. But yeah, we can go in here because we have a key. Alright, why am I waiting to watch that? I don't know. What was that noise? I don't know, but we can... Oh, I had to suck on the cloth there. I don't remember having to do anything on this room before. I guess we will see. I don't know. I really don't know. Do I have to face the opposite direction? No. Or do I have to call for Mario? I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Like, literally, it, it, I don't know what I had to do last time, because it just worked already. Or do I just have to go into this room? I don't understand, because this, like, the thing that happened was that it showed up before I even had to go into this room. Yeah, we're gonna clear this out. Um, do I have any other school stories for the semester? Uh, I probably do, but I can't think of any. Uh, yeah, man. Oh, shit. Get him before he rapes me with his arms. Like, if someone hugs you without your consent, is there a term for that? Is there? Answer me. I don't know, man. <laughs> is that it? No. Surely there is something else. That drawer is already open. What are you? There you are. Wow, he's trying to spawn hug me? That's crazy. This commentary is getting so bad now. That's crazier. This has to be the last guy. Let's, let's be real here. I don't think there's any rooms where it's like a gauntlet of ghosts you have to keep sucking, but we open this treasure chest, and... Oh, we got the fire element. I thought that was going to be something else, but... It totally makes sense. we got all these question marks. Let's take a look at that. Man, like how E-Guy is like, oh man, the camera's not looking at me. Oh, there it is. It's the fire element medallion. So, what button do we have to hit for that? The L button. Okay. So yeah, there's elements in this game which adds an extra element, ha ha ha, to puzzles. So we'll get fire, water, and ice. So let's get some fire here. And when we suck on the fire, there's a fire ghost. Let's see, now we can shoot fire. Oh wait, that, there's spikes on there. Oh, do I have to light the candles? Yeah, if you can look at the bottom there, it says how much we have of our fire element left. It will run out pretty quick. But you can always get them pretty easily and reliably. Is that all I have to do? Yeah. Are you going to show up yet? No? Okay, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Luigi's Match. I hope you all enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a like as well as the channel grows. Subscribe to updates on my uploads as soon as they happen. But until then, I will see you all next time. Mario.